I'm Danae. Today I have the ultimate gift guide to help you shop for the quilter in your life. I have ideas from stocking stuffers to items you may want to splurge on and everything in between. This gift guide is all you'll need to hit it out of the park this Christmas with your favorite quilter. Let's start with a splurge item. At $199, this is the most expensive gift idea on the list. The Oliso iron is a favorite of many quilters and will have you feeling like you're in the Jetsons with its auto lift handle that simply lowers when you grab it. It's not only cool, it's also very functional. If the quilter in your life doesn't have a wool pressing mat, then this just might be the gift for you. It could be a splurge if you go with a large size. Mine is 24 inches by 72 inches. But wool mats come in a lot of different sizes, which is great because you can find one to fit almost any budget. The Stripology Ruler by Creative Grids would be another awesome gift idea. In fact, I got this one for Christmas four or five years ago. They come in different sizes, but I recommend the XL because that's the one I have and have used. They've updated them since I got mine, so they look a little different, but it's basically the same, just better. I love that they have one and a half and two and a half increments marked. It takes out all the guesswork and helps to eliminate mistakes when cutting. I'm a big fan of this ruler and use it on every quilt that I make. A rotating cutting mat is a great addition to any sewing room. It makes fussy cutting, squaring up blocks, and making half square triangles so much faster and easier. I love mine and use it often. This could be a great gift idea because it's often on a quilter's I really want but don't necessarily need list. I didn't get mine until I'd been quilting for a few years and it's definitely a notion I wish I would have gotten sooner. Not only would you impress the quilter in your life by knowing what a tailor's clapper is, but it's also a very useful notion. I didn't use one when I was a beginner quilter, but I would definitely put it in my top notions to get now. It makes pressing so much more enjoyable and delivers extremely flat seams every time, which is gonna make piecing your blocks together much smoother and your overall quilt top will be less bulky. I'll link below to both a splurge and save clappers. When purchasing a tailor's clapper, the type of wood your clapper is made out of is really important. You want a closed grain wood like a maple or a cherry because they will actually absorb the heat and moisture and that process is what creates the really flat seams. So you want to stay away from pine or oak clappers because they are open grain woods and will not give you the desired effect. Another option, if you're handy, would be to make your own. While there are some super fancy ones out there, all you really need is a flat piece of the right type of wood. All quilters have one main thing in common, and that is a love for fabric. If you know a designer that your quilter loves, start there. If you don't, tis the season to be a good listener. Just kidding. If you don't, my must-have fabric right now is without question these amazing Sprout Wovens by Fabulism. They are so soft and the colors are stunning. And best of all, they are much more stable than the Warp and Weft Wovens, which will make them much easier to work with. If it's in the budget, I would recommend getting them in half yard increments. Otherwise, get fat quarters. I'll link below to my favorite quilt shop where I got mine. Contrary to what the Hallmark movie I watched last night told me, I still believe you can't go wrong with a gift certificate to your quilter's favorite fabric shop or to their long arm quilter. If you're still not sure what the quilter in your life may already have and are unable to sneak into their sewing space and check it out, you can't go wrong with pins and wonder clips or rotary blade replacements. Those would also all be great stocking stuffers. And my favorite stocking stuffer is this thread conditioner, which would be great if the quilter in your life hand binds or does any hand quilting. And last, but certainly not least, the best gift you could give the quilter in your life is a day or even just an afternoon of interruption-free time to sew, especially if they have little ones. 
I hope this guide helps you as you shop for your favorite quilter this season. And you're off to a great start by considering something quilty. It will be loved and appreciated. Happy holidays! Happy holidays!